The Day of the Dead, Spanish, Dia de Muertos or Dia de los Muertos 1-2, is a Mexican holiday celebrated in Mexico and elsewhere associated with the Catholic celebrations of All Saints Day and All Souls Day, and is held on November 1st and 2nd. The multi-day holiday involves family and friends gathering to pray for and to remember friends and family members who have died. It is commonly portrayed as a day of celebration rather than mourning. 3. Mexican academics are divided on whether the festivity has indigenous pre-Hispanic roots or whether it is a 20th century rebranded version of a Spanish tradition developed by the presidency of Lázaro Cárdenas to encourage Mexican nationalism through an Aztec identity. 456. The festivity has become a national symbol and as such is taught in the nation's school system, typically asserting a native origin. 7. In 2008, the tradition was inscribed in the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity by UNESCO. 8. The holiday is more commonly called Dia de los Muertos outside Mexico. 9-10. Whereas in Spain and most of Latin America the public holiday and similar traditions are typically held on All Saints Day, Todos los Santos, the Mexican government under Cardenas switched the festivity to All Souls Day, Fielas Defuntos, in an effort to secularize the festivity and distinguish it from the Hispanic Catholic festival. 11. The Dia de Muertos was then promoted throughout the country as a continuity of ancient Aztec festivals celebrating death, a theory strongly encouraged by Mexican poet Octavio Paz. Traditions connected with the holiday include building home altars called ofrendas, honoring the deceased using calaveras, Aztec marigolds, and the favorite foods and beverages of the departed, and visiting graves with these as gifts. 12. The Dia de Muertos is commonly associated with Mexican pre-Hispanic indigenous traditions both in Mexico and abroad. However, over the past decades, Mexican academia has increasingly questioned the validity of this assumption, even going as far as calling it a politically motivated fabrication. Historian Elsa Malvido, researcher for the Mexican INA and founder of the Institute's Taller de Estudios sobre la Muerte, was the first to do so in the context of her wider research into Mexican attitudes to death and disease across the centuries. Malvito completely discards a native or even syncretic origin arguing that the tradition can be fully traced to medieval Europe. She highlights the existence of similar traditions on the same day, not just in Spain, but in the rest of Catholic Southern Europe and Latin America such as altars for the dead, sweets in the shape of skulls and bread in the shape of bones. 13. Agustin Sanchez González has a similar view in his article published in the INA's bi-monthly journal Arqueologia Mexicana. González states that, even though the indigenous narrative became hegemonic, the spirit of the festivity has far more in common with European traditions of dance macabre and their allegories of life and death personified in the human skeleton to remind us the ephemeral nature of life. He also highlights that in the 19th century press there was little mention of the Day of the Dead in the sense that we know it today. All there was were long processions to cemeteries, sometimes ending with drunkenness. Elsa Malvido, also points to the recent origin of the tradition of velar or staying up all night with the dead. It resulted from the reform laws under the presidency of Benito Juarez which forced family pantheons out of churches and into civil cemeteries, requiring rich families having servants guarding family possessions displayed at altars. 14. Gonzalez further explains that the modern characteristics of the Dia de Muertos during the first governments following the Mexican Revolution led to a nationalist culture and iconography based on pride all things indigenous, portraying Native Americans as the origin of everything truly Mexican. The historian Ricardo Perez Montfort has further demonstrated how the ideology known as Indigenismo became more and more closely linked to post-revolutionary official projects whereas Hispanismo was identified with conservative political stances. This exclusive nationalism began to displace all other cultural perspectives to the point that in the 1930s, the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl was officially promoted by the government as a substitute for the Spanish Three Kings tradition, with a person dressed up as the deity offering gifts to poor children. 15. In this context, the Day of the Dead began to be officially isolated from the Catholic Church by the leftist government of Lázaro Cárdenas motivated both by indigenismo and left-leaning anti-clericalism. Malvito herself goes as far as calling the festivity a Cardenist invention whereby the Catholic elements are removed and emphasis is laid on indigenous iconography, the focus on death and what Malvito considers to be the cultural invention according to which Mexicans venerate death. 1617, 
Gonzalez explains that Mexican nationalism developed diverse cultural expressions with a seal of tradition but which are essentially social constructs which eventually developed ancestral tones. One of the these would be the Catholic Dia de Muertos which, during the 20th century, appropriated the elements of an ancient pagan rite. 18. One key element of the redeveloped festivity which appears during this time is La Calavera Catrina by Mexican lithographer José Guadalupe Posada. According to González, whereas Posada is portrayed in current times as the restorer of Mexico's pre-Hispanic tradition he was never interested in Native American culture or history. Posada was predominantly interested in drawing scary images which are far closer to those of the European Renaissance or the horrors painted by Francisco de Goya in the Spanish War of Independence against Napoleon than the Mexica Tsumpantli. The recent transatlantic connection can also be observed in the pervasive use of couplet and allegories of death in the play Don Juan Tenorio by 19th Spanish writer José Zorilla which is represented on this date both in Spain and in Mexico since the early 19th century due to its ghostly apparitions and cemetery scenes. 19. People go to cemeteries to be with the souls of the departed and build private altars containing the favorite foods and beverages, as well as photos and memorabilia, of the departed. The intent is to encourage visits by the souls, so the souls will hear the prayers and the comments of the living directed to them. Celebrations can take a humorous tone, as celebrants remember funny events and anecdotes about the departed. 20. Plans for the day are made throughout the year including gathering the goods to be offered to the dead. During the three-day period families usually clean and decorate graves, 21, most visit the cemeteries where their loved ones are buried and decorate their graves with ofrendas, altars, which often include orange Mexican marigolds, tagetes erecta, called sempasuchal, originally named sempoalxochitl, nahuatl for 20 flowers. In modern Mexico the marigold is sometimes called flor de muerto, flower of dead. These flowers are thought to attract souls of the dead to the offerings. It is also believed the bright petals with a strong scent can guide the souls from cemeteries to their family homes. 22-23 Toys are brought for dead children, Los Angelitos, or the Little Angels, and bottles of tequila, mezcal or pulque or jars of atole for adults. Families will also offer trinkets or the deceased's favorite candies on the grave. Some families have ofrendas in homes, usually with foods such as candied pumpkin, pan de muerto, bread of dead, and sugar skulls, and beverages such as atole. The ofrendas are left out in the homes as a welcoming gesture for the deceased. 21-23, some people believe the spirits of the dead eat the spiritual essence of the ofrendas food, so though the celebrators eat the food after the festivities, they believe it lacks nutritional value. Pillows and blankets are left out so the deceased can rest after their long journey. In some parts of Mexico, such as the towns of Mixquic, Potscoro, and Genizio, people spend all night beside the graves of their relatives. In many places, people have picnics at the grave site, 